Hello everyone, welcome to a performance test of Ballistic Foxes' RSS Reborn and Black Rack's Volumetric Clouds for Real Solar System. This is a very intense visual pack for a Real Solar System. Uh, RSS Reborn is the actual visual pack, it's an implementation of Volumetric Clouds for Real Solar System, plus very good uh, textures for Earth and the other planets and stuff like that. And so I'm going to see how well my system does. So I should tell you what my system is. It's an i5-12600K processor, and I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM, and I've got an RTX 2070 video card. And at its peak, this install loaded 47 gigabytes into the system RAM. Currently, it's offloaded a little bit of that, but that's 47 gigabytes with the top-level Earth textures, so 64K Earth textures. Now. As far as what I would like, I, I actually didn't really want the volumetric clouds. Unfortunately, uh, every time anybody produces the really good texture packs for the planets, they seem to toss in really, really good clouds. And I, I don't need that, that much uh, intensity of clouds. <laughs> Basically, I would like to shove in more parts. In this case, this is a space shuttle install, and so... I don't have that much by way of other mods. It's very focused on the space shuttle, and it's still taking 47 gigabytes. But if I wanted to create a install with a whole bunch of other stuff, it's got to be tough with uh, the amount of system RAM that this takes. But anyway, let's run the shuttle and see what happens. I've already tested this a few times, so I have some suggestions if you also have performance problems with this. I am using physics physics range extender, but I've limited it to 10. So, global range 10 there. So that shouldn't hurt too much. And so this is how it looks right now. I do record at 30 frames per second, so you're not going to see higher than that. Of course, this is uh, RSS Cape Canaveral, former Katniss Cape Canaveral. And so, this part will look better than the rest of the train. We can see it sort of end right there, and then there's the rest of the train, but it's so hazy that we can't really see the details right now. So, so far, so good as far as the performance. You can see, whoops, uh, green and yellow on the timer, basically real time. Yeah, one other thing I would like is if, since I'm only doing space shuttle things in this particular install, uh, to have lower quality texture packs for some of the other planets. And unfortunately, there's only a 64K option for Mars for this particular mod, RSS Reborn. There's a 16K, 32K, and 64K for Earth, and we're currently using the 64K. And this is a weird part about the clouds. They're sort of fading out, but they'll pop back in. And it's right when the boosters separate, so it's a little bit awkward. So, uh, uh, well, the booster separation itself is a little bit awkward. I have to fix that. But you can see it's, uh, they sort of pop back in. Uh, so there are these sort of transition zones when it comes to the clouds that can create some awkward effects. But yeah, uh, un uh, even though there are options for Earth, there aren't any options for Mars. There's only a 64K one, and it would be really important to get lower quality Mars textures if all I'm going to be doing is maybe sending some probes over with the shuttle or something, but not doing full-on Mars missions. We really, I really wanted just high quality Earth. There's some nice clouds in the back there too. But we are starting to get lag. You'll note that uh, the timer is now yellow, so we're getting physics lag, and then we're also getting lower frame rate. Now, this has different effects depending on how you point the camera. For instance, if I point down like this, you can see it's green. So that's really good. Uh, basically real time as long as we're looking down like this. But as soon as we look at all the clouds on the horizon and such, uh, it really slows down. If we get a side view of the shuttle, yeah sort of crawls. I mean, it's not yet horrible. It's got to get worse. Uh, it's not yet horrible. But there are ways to mitigate this. And we'll talk about that. One is just to have lower quality texture packs. And if uh, other people know more about 
the mod, then please tell me how to optimize it a little bit better. And optimize it particularly for Earth missions is what I'm looking for. And I don't need, you know, perfect, perfect clouds. In fact, if I could go back to the regular 2D clouds I had with even scatter before and just have the higher quality Earth textures, that would probably suit me. Though, of course, this is beautiful. The problem is the frame rate impact and also the physics impact. And the reason why we get a frame rate impact is because unlike most things in KSP, this is now taxing the GPU instead of the CPU. My CPU is nice and cool right now. It's not being used very much. Utilization of the processor is only 23%. Uh, utilization of the GPU is 100%, basically, 97. And the memory is 97.2. So it's shoved everything it can into the GPU, the VRAM, and it's using it to the max. So again, uh, it's getting real choppy if we take a look at the horizon here like this. But then if we tilt down, it's much, much better. But even when we tilt down now, it's no longer green. Now usually running the shuttle, it's basically real time because the shuttle doesn't actually have many parts, right? A lot of the stuff is built in, like the RCS. You don't have a whole bunch of extra parts here. And it's just a procedural tank in the bay. At this point, the system has offloaded a lot of stuff from the system memory and it's only using 22 gigabytes. I don't think that has an impact on the performance though, actually. Uh, I had another run with it, another test, where it kept everything in the system RAM and it was basically performing the same. If we go to the horizon now... Oh dear, <laughs> right? It's not quite one frame per second, but it's getting there. And you know, I, I wouldn't mind if some of that stuff was more smoothed out and not rendered to as much detail. But we can solve that by just tilting down too. The higher we go, the worse it gets, basically. It's exactly like that. There's no a special reprieve, like suddenly going into space makes it better. Uh, you've seen that before probably with other texture packs or uh, you know if we get higher and uh, stuff gets offloaded it seems like it's just direct uh, it just gets worse and worse the higher up we go uh, probably there's a point where it gets offloaded but um, I would like it if when we get to space we get lower quality something or another so that so that's not so bad, but I think the volumetric clouds, it's tough to do that with, maybe? So at this point, I'll talk about one thing you can do, because otherwise this got to take a long time to get to orbit. And that's that if we uh, pull up the EVE settings here, and we uh, go to Raymarch Clouds Quality Manager, you can see it's 4x here, temporal upscaling. And actually, uh, taking a look at the page on temporal upscaling for EVE, uh, it actually suggests for 1080p to do 8x. And if we apply 8x right now, it'll pause a little bit and everything. It should give us a performance boost. Basically, it means that it's like rendering uh, everything in 8 frames instead of 4 frames. I guess that's the way of thinking about it. We don't quite get green here. But then we can also try 16x, which is when they say that it starts to look a little bit lossy as far as its performance. Sorry, uh, it looks a little bit lossy in terms of quality, not performance. So now you can see it's sort of taking 16 frames to do each cloud fully. It's still pretty rough here. But actually, uh, this direction, it's not too bad, depending on your expectations, of course. Another thing is non-tiling 3D noise. 
basically this makes everything look a little bit more random. There's some performance impact apparently. Now there's a whole lot of other settings with Eve of course. And some of it would help probably, but I don't know how to tweak those. I mean pointing down like this, I don't think that makes much of a difference and it starts to get little lines in the clouds. I think that's what I was trying to avoid, but it's not too bad. But you can definitely see that the stuff is sort of in rows, and that's what I was it was trying to avoid. So let's put that back to true. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, really. Now, I wish I knew more about Eve and Scatter and all these things I don't, uh, which is why I don't make my own pack uh, that is customized to my own needs. Every time I try to mess with it, it all goes wrong. In fact, I tried to mess with RSS Reborn. I tried to get, it, get a version where it would just use the regular clouds, not volumetric, and uh, give me the nice ground textures, which is what I wanted. And that failed miserably. So I could not extract it. I could not separate. If somebody knows how to like turn it into a non-volumetric cloud mod, I'd be interested in that for other purposes. I mean, sometimes I want volumetric clouds, like if I've got planes and such probably. Uh, but other times, of course, uh, what we see is any purpose up to like 50 kilometers would be great. The performance was not a problem under 50 kilometers. But once we get got a little bit higher up, it started to get a little bit problematic. Now, let's do a more direct comparison between the 16x and 4x. So you can see the rate that's going right now when we're pointed at the horizon. Okay, uh, and there's gotta be a pause. It's tough to compare it because there's that pause. But let's apply 4x again. I mean, it's not, it's not a huge revelation here. But I think at this point, uh, the 16x didn't look that much worse, so. Let's see what 32x does. But maybe 16k or 16x is the best deal. So what I'm gonna do next is change from the 64k textures for Earth to the 32k and see if that helps. But I mean right now we're over water, so. Uh, there, there isn't a whole lot of ground texture being loaded right now anyway. In theory, we should be close to the eastern seaboard. In fact, oh, there it is. I barely see the coastline now. It's very, very hazy. Personally, I'd like a little bit less haze, too. And that's just so that we can see the nice coastlines. That's what I always wanted. I wanted nice coastlines in real solar system. The better we can make those, the happier I would be. Not I mean, I, I, clouds are very important, especially compared to the base game where there are no clouds. Uh, but coastlines are super important to me and ground details. Well, I think we can all agree that if I'm going to make this work out for me, I'm going to want better tweaks. I need some performance tweaks here. And this is with a minimal set of other mods just to do shuttle missions. Oh, there we go, and we have to do separation and everything. I suppose one thing we can do is just take a look at the planets while it's going. So, this is Earth right now. I mean, it's not obviously any better from the map view, so maybe judging from the map view is a bad idea. Yeah, I'd say uh, compared to normal RSS, there's not going to be a easy way to tell that things are better from map view. We really would have to go there. And right now that's got to take a lot of time. <laughs> uh, Vesta doesn't look too bad. Mars. And Mars more or less looks like the way it did. So the RSS textures folder in RSS Reborn is 12.6 gigabytes right now. And it's not the worst possible, but...
but it could do with some optimization. So yeah, this is this is choppy now. And this with the 16x on the Eve thing. Okay, well, that's pretty pretty rough. So let me try the 32k earth textures and see what happens. Okay, so here we are with the 32k earth textures, and again we've kept the Eve to I don't know why there's invalid name for some of this stuff here, but uh, um, it's actually the top arrow that we need to click there. We're still at 16x there, or x16, and let us see how it goes. I won't tweak anything else for now. I don't know what else to tweak, actually. So, let's see the shuttle launch like this. I mean, at least for this part, it's fine. If you are doing cinematics, what I would recommend is that you like get the launch part up to about 50 kilometers here, and then do the rest in a different different install without RSS Reborn. Uh, this tentatively until I find some way of making the frame rates a little bit better. Of course, if you've got a wonderful GPU, uh, you probably get better results. I mean, it looks good for sure. I appreciate the work of the modders. I just want to be able to use their uh, efforts to the fullest. As far as system RAM is concerned, it's saved maybe about three, two to three gigabytes of system RAM going from 64k to 32k earth textures. See, these clouds that fade out, these are the good clouds. <laughs> these are the good clouds. That separates. And then we'll get the popped in clouds here. And these guys, these guys are the bad clouds. <laughs> Uh, it isn't really performing that badly right now. Once we get uh, higher up, it's going to be worse. But yeah, that temporal upscaling, according to the environmental visual enhancements sort of information, the temporal upscaling is the main optimization used for Ray March clouds. I'm just quoting it. So uh, changing it from 4x to 16x. Uh, is the main thing we can do apparently and it says 8x build a frame over 8 frames or I just say build the cloud over 8 frames uh, but uh, is it sweet spot and good for 1440p and 1080p it says that 32x is not recommended as the quality really suffers especially around the horizon but we are now past 100 kilometers and that's another transition zone with the clouds between 100 and 102 well with the atmosphere I should say so we have transitioned into the next phase of things and I think it's less choppy especially when pointing at the horizon there's more clouds over here maybe that'll give it more work over here But so far, it certainly seems like lowering the texture quality of the earth textures helps. But I really didn't want to do that. <laughs> Those were the things I wanted. So it's tough. Okay, well, it's certainly choppier now that we're in space. Uh, if we point down, it's better as before. get better camera angles. It's not as bad as it was, but we still have a lot of height to gain. So we'll see. The higher up we go, the more clouds it has to render, so it gets tougher and tougher. Certainly the physics lag is pretty is pretty long. I mean, well, it's not as long as it used to be. I mean, I, I've had days back in the old days, or when launching the original version of the Monument Launcher, where it was many seconds per real-time second. Still, I don't like my shuttle launches to be like this. 
Honestly, with 32x, it said that the quality would be lower on the horizon. I don't mind lower quality on horizon right now. Let's try 32x here. I don't know what use orbit mode does. Uh, it's it's uh, sort of okay right here right now. But it's maybe three seconds to one in-game second right now. Less than three. Between two and three real time seconds to one in game second. So, of course, I will put the links in the video description. I mean, the main thing is the RSS Reborn mod, and the RSS Reborn mod itself will point you to Black Rack's volumetric clouds, but I'll put uh, both pages in the video description. I thought there are a lot of pages describing them. Uh, for Black Rack's volumetric clouds, you will have to. Uh, become a member of Black Rack's Patreon, uh, so that's a thing in order to access the download. Okay, getting closer to orbit here. And, well, with the tweaks and reduced textures, it's not so bad. Could be better, though. All right, and that's the end of the main burn. We should pass over Europe, and so we'll see what Europe looks like. Hopefully we can see the ground textures a little bit better. It's not so hazy. Oh, there's some nice terrain back there. Uh, this looks like Turkey. A nice terrain around Turkey. The coastlines look nice and crisp. So maybe 30, 32k is okay. But the frame rate sure is not. And the physics rate also is not. It's not like we're rendering a whole lot of parts here. Right now, 23 parts. Well, as the shell does its OMS burn, I will hope that there are better optimizations in the future. And maybe I'll use this as a plain install for now. But for orbit, I think it's a little bit too taxing for my system. But anyway, that was a performance test of RSS Reborn and hopefully it's helpful to people in deciding whether or not to use this. Again, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, if you have less than that, it's going to be harder. <laughs> it's, it's still using 41 gigabytes right now, as we speak. So, yeah, that's just the game. Uh, it's using, the, my system included, it's using 91% of my total system memory. So, it, it can offload some of that to, like, the page file and stuff like that, but... That's just going to hurt performance when it does. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a look at RSS Reborn. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.